forced to be a cheerleader. I went into the girls' changing room by mistake. I came out as a cheerleader. I'm Ash. I'm 20 and a keen fan of the New England Patriots. I've been lucky to get a ticket for their match against the Dallas Cowboys. I'm so excited to be going to the match and my ticket includes a pre-match tour of the stadium and a seat in my company's private box. It's a dream come true. All week I can't wait for the match day to come. I love the atmosphere in the stadium and especially the build-up with the cheerleaders. Those cheerleaders are all so stunning and they look fantastic in their panties and tops, twirling their pom-poms and dancing. It must be great being a cheerleader and performing to the crowd. I like to imagine myself as a cheerleader dressed so pretty, dancing around with my pom-poms. When I watch them on the TV in my flat, I dance around the room as if I'm one of them. Girls are so lucky to be cheerleaders. Anyway, the day of the match arrives, and I get myself ready in my team t-shirt and jeans. I have to be at the stadium early, to go on the tour before the game starts. I head off from my flat and make my way across the city to the stadium. We are all meeting in the company box for drinks and snacks before the tour. It's up at the top of the stadium and I meet my workmates, who are all excited about seeing the game. It's the season final and we all hope the Patriots will win. After a couple of beers and a feast of nibbles we head off to look around the stadium. We are taken through all the main areas of the stadium seeing the offices, boardroom, restaurants, training areas, and we end up down at the player rooms. I'm getting desperate for the toilet by now as that beer has worked its way through. I leave the group and try to find the toilets. I try lots of doors but they're not toilets. Then I see a door saying changing room. I'm sure there will be toilets in there. I open the door and it's empty, so I head inside. There are no urinals but there are cubicles, so I head into one. I close the door behind me and start to pee. Suddenly I hear lots of girls' voices. Oh no, I must have come into the girls' changing room. I finish what I'm doing and wait to see if they leave. There's more and more noise as more girls come into the changing room. They start to use the cubicles next to me and then I hear the showers starting up. Oh heck, I think, how am I going to get out of here? Then my cell phone rings. It's my mum, if I don't answer she will keep ringing. I answer the phone with a whispering voice. Hi mum, I can't speak now, I'll ring you back. I switch the phone off. I hope, I wasn't overheard. Suddenly there's a knock on the cubicle door. Who's there, says a girl's voice. Open the door and show yourself you perv. What could I do, I had no other option, I opened the door. I was surrounded by all these girls in various states, of undress. I'm sorry I say, I just needed the toilet, and the room was empty. I didn't know it was the girl's changing room. A likely story you perv, one of the girls shouted. You were hoping to get an eyeful of us changing. No honest, I replied, it's all a mistake. What are we going to do with him, shouts another. I know, said another girl. Were well, one girl short today as Natalie is ill. He will have to be Natalie. That's a great idea, they all agree. That will teach him not to come into our changing room girls, one girl says. No, please let me go, it was all a mistake, I plead. No way perv, get your kit off, you're coming in the showers with us. I say, I can't, please let me go. I didn't have a chance to escape before my clothes were all on the floor and I stood there with my hands over my thing. Well look at the hairy beast girls. We will have to deal with that to get him a pretty cheerleader. Before I knew it. I'm pulled into the showers with all these naked cheerleaders with me standing to attention. They start shaving every hair off my body and then wash me all over. There you'll be a pretty girl now they say as they take me back to the changing area and dry me off. They rub lotion all over me to make my skin shine and I'm handed a pair of blue panties, with a tiny net skirt and a red waistband with little stars on it. Put these on they tell me. What could I do, I put them on. 
There was me in this little pair of girly panties. They then pulled a bolero top over my head. It matched the panties with a blue top, net sleeves, and a red starry neckband. They packed the bra with panties, and I had breasts sticking out like a girl. They sat me down and put some white ankle socks on me and a pair of white trainers. I thought, have I really got to go out as a cheerleader? I know I like to dance in my flat with them, but in the middle of the stadium? I didn't have much chance to say anything as my face was being made up. They put lots of foundation on my face and some blusher. My eyebrows were plucked and shaped and lined black. They stuck false eyelashes on me and put on mascara. Then some pink eyeshadow. Then a pink lipstick was applied to my lips. My fingernails were varnished pink. I thought that was it. But no. They then brought a long blonde wig and put it on my head. It was styled, combed and fell down over my shoulders. They took me to a long wall mirror, and I stood looking at myself. But it wasn't me, it was a beautiful girl looking back at me. I had always had a slim figure for a guy, and I wasn't big and beefy like most guys. I actually looked like a girl. I was amazed at the transformation. Even my thing was hidden away in the tight panties. The girls all finished getting themselves ready. They handed me a pair of pom-poms and took me into the training room. I had watched them so many times and I had danced with them in my flat, but now I had to do it for real. They lined me up with them, the music started, and we all started to dance. The girls were amazed how well I copied their every move. Waving my pom-poms, kicking up my legs and jumping in the air. They said I was a natural. I didn't tell them how I copied them at home. I could hear the noise out in the stadium as the crowds had gathered. There would be thousands watching the match in the stadium and many more on their TVs. If I had to do this, I would do it right. After all this was the biggest game of the year, the final. I did feel lovely dressed as a cheerleader and in a way, it was a dream come true. Something I never expected to ever happen to me, but here I am all dressed up girly about to be a cheerleader at the NFL final. It was now time for us to perform. We were called out into the stadium, and I ran out with all the other cheerleaders. An announcement came over the speakers. Unfortunately, Natalie can't make it today due to illness, but we have a replacement. Hooray went the crowd. We have the pleasure of Ash taking the place of Natalie, I hope you will all support him. Hooray the crowd all went again. I held my pom-poms high as they cheered. The music started and we waved our pom-poms, kicked, jumped, swung our booties and sashayed around. When we finished the crowd erupted and there were wolf whistles from all over. I had to sign so many autographs and I got telephone numbers given to me from many girls and lots of guys. I had been a hit. I ran back into the changing room with all the other girls, and we all jumped for joy, and I got so many hugs and kisses. The photographers came in and took so many photos of us all dressed up, with me in the middle. I was a star. I joined the girls in the shower after the photographers had left, and I really felt at home with them all. I felt like one of the girls. I really didn't want to get dressed up in my guy clothes, but I had to. That night while I was watching the highlights of the match, I watched myself with the girls dancing and twirling my pom-poms. Then my cell phone rang. It was my mum. I saw you she said, at the game today. Oh mum, I said, they made me do it. You were great she said. You looked so good as a girl I wouldn't have recognised you. Thanks mum, I said. We finished our call and then my cell phone didn't stop ringing. I had TV companies ring me, advertisement agencies and the press all wanting interviews and to sign me up. Suddenly my head was in a spin. Then the Patriots coach rang me. He wanted me to be a full-time cheerleader. So now I'm one of the girls, yes, I signed up as an official cheerleader. Every game now I go and share the dressing room with all the other girl cheerleaders, and I do my thing for the crowd. I earned so much from TV appearances and advertising. I never thought by going into the wrong changing room, my life would change so much. 
I have all the girls I want, lining up for a date with me now. And would you believe it, a lot of guys as well. I'll give that a miss, I think, unless somebody really takes my eye. Only kidding, or am I? If you like my stories, please give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. Story written and produced by Phil Gurley.